Hello, nice to see you back. It's day eight of the 10 day accessibility challenge and our topic is long descriptions for complex images. You know the saying, a picture tells a thousand words. Well, we agree, which is why sometimes a one sentence alternative text simply won't explain an image. When you have a complex image, a graph or chart, you need a longer description than a sentence or two. First, let's be clear. Students who are blind, have low vision, or have cognitive differences rely on screen readers and other assistive technology. So accessibility is a must for these students. But where complex images are concerned, all students benefit from explanatory text. Like much about accessibility, it's a good practice that helps all students. In this case, by helping them develop visual and data literacy. The easiest way to describe a complex image is to provide context on the same page as the image. For instance, say you have a complex image such as this animated chart on COVID-19 hospitalizations. To make this accessible, describe the data or information in a paragraph leading up to or just after the image. When you use the context to describe an image, the image itself still needs alt text but that alt text should not be redundant to the information surrounding the image or chart. In this case, we can simply identify the graphic, chart of COVID-19 hospitalizations by race. On a side note, this is an animated image, a GIF. Because GIFs run continuously, which can be distracting, use them sparingly, and only when they reinforce the concepts. Distracting images with movement that students can't stop can interfere with learning instead of enhancing it. Okay, on to our next example. Sometimes providing textual context is not a good option. You may want your students to unpack a graph or chart, or you may be using an image purposefully instead of text. In these cases, you'll create a text-only version of your graphic as the alternative text. To do this in Canvas, you'll need to create two pages. One is your content page with the image, and one is your long description or alternative text. First, create the page for the image. I'll title this page, School to Prison Pipeline. At the top of the page, put some placeholder text. This will eventually be the link to the alternative text page. Select the embed image icon, find your image file, and include alt text that briefly identifies the graphic. Select update, then save your page. Next, create a separate page for the text-only version. Give your text version page the exact same name as the main page, but include text-only version at the end of the title. Add your accessible table or text version to this page. To create a link back to your graphics page, place your cursor at the top of the page, then select Pages from the Content Selector panel. Find the original page from the list. Select the page, and the link will automatically be added to the page you are editing. Now go back and edit the page with the image. Highlight the text that will be your link to the text-only version and use the content selector to link to the text version page. Save the page and you're all set. The link takes your students to the text-only version. Images can do so much to engage and teach our students. And with just a little effort, they can be accessible and meaningful for all students. And keep up the good work. It's the key to our success. See you tomorrow for day nine of the 10 day accessibility challenge.